Hey guys, Xbox Gamer 2 back in. Okay guys, this is part 2 of my Xbox 360 collection. Um, uh, yeah, I'll be, we'll be making 3 parts, um, so this is definitely part 2. I um, had a few more games than I thought. And plus the last video went for a bit over 16 minutes, so um, I'd like to keep it down under that if I can. So, here we go for part 2. Okay, first off, um, Mass Effect 2. I uh, love this game, brilliant, brilliant series. Um, can't wait for number three. I've got mine pre-ordered already. Uh, I got this second hand. This did come from um, uh, EB Games, and that's how it was. I didn't realise this was had the limited limited edition collection from the um, number two at the time. But um, yeah, so this is just part of it. So um, brilliant, brilliant game. Love it. Okay. Um, bad company. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company. Uh, Gold Edition, um, not a bad game, didn't mind it too much, um, haven't finished that one, I'm about halfway, but good game. Okay, Lord of the Rings War in the North, uh, sadly I haven't even touched this game yet, I've got an unboxing for this game on my channel, I'll put a link down below for you guys if you haven't checked it out, but um, yeah, I have popped it in to see what it's like, and um, yeah, good, good game for what I say. Uh, for what it is so far. Uh, Fear 3, I've uh, got an unboxing for this game as well. Um, yeah, once again, I just haven't too much time in this one either. Uh, I think I've played the first level, um, but a good game overall. Um, Perfect Dark um, Hero, one of the launch titles for the 360. Um, yeah, not, not a bad game. Um, yeah, it's showing its age now with the graphics, but um, pretty good. Uh, John Woo presents Stranglehold. Um, I haven't played too much of this. Uh, I think I got to a point where I got stuck and, and that's how I gave up. Um, need to get back to it, but I don't know when that will be. But um, overall, it's still a good game. Um, Goldeneye, ah, uh, Goldeneye, sorry, uh, 007, uh, Quantum Solace, um, yeah, not, not a bad game, nothing too fantastic, um, it is by Activision, so, yeah, um, overall, it's a good game. Alright, um, Halo 3, um, what can we say about the Halo series, uh, just brilliant, I love the Halo series, um, yeah, uh, Bunchy did a good job with these games, and I feel um, the new guys who've taken over 343 are, are continuing a good job too. So I can't wait for Halo 4 uh, to come out. Um, now, Fantasy Star Universe, um, not bad, um, pretty good. I, I quite enjoyed it as much as I've um, played of it so far. Um, yeah, just got to get back to it, and you probably. Realise a lot of a lot of these games I'll say oh I didn't get back to it, get it back to it. Um say so that's the top game I own. Start things and don't finish them. Okay, uh, Ghostbusters. Um yeah, a lot of hype around this game when it came out. Um I believe some people liked it, some people didn't. Uh, me personally. Uh, I thought it was, uh, it was pretty good. Um Yeah, so graphically it was nice. Um so big and the actors actually so this is the actual Ghostbusters 3. This is their way to give us Ghostbusters 3. So, um, but I would settle for a live action movie again if I could. Okay, Guitar Hero World Tour. I just got this in the bundle with the the, uh, the guitar. Uh, I got it brand new in the box for about 30, 40 dollars. So that's why I picked it up. Only played a couple of times and um, yeah. No, not for me. I, I knew it wasn't for me. I only got it because it was cheap. Uh, Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, oh, I love this game. It was really good. Um, I completed all Decepticon side and then I'm halfway through to Autobot side. Uh, I just got to a level and I was just getting beaten and I just couldn't pass it and I just haven't gone back to it. But um, no, really good game. Uh, it's a double pack, um, Indiana Jones, uh, the Lego one, and um, Kung Fu Panda. Um, 
I tried to get into the Lego series. Um, they're okay, but um, yeah, I don't really like them that much. And Kung Fu Panda is just pretty basic for that younger audience platformer. Um, the Sega Mega Drive um, Ultimate Collection, or in the US, it's probably the Sega Genesis Ultimate Collection. Uh, yeah, not bad. Just a compilation, all your Rega, uh, all your classic Mega Drive games. So yeah, not a bad one. Pop in, play some retro. Uh, Dead Space 2. Now, I, like I said in the last video, I love the Dead Space series. Um, yeah, I'm only about halfway through this one. Got to get back into it. Uh, yeah, so it would be really nice. Um, no, make a Dead Space 3, most probably. I haven't seen the end of this to see how they've gone with it. But I've heard a lot of people um, didn't really care for the ending for this game. They thought it was pretty lame. So, yeah, I need to finish so I can see what they're talking about. Uh, Tron Evolution. I uh, love the movie. Uh, great. This game is just frustrating. The controls, I feel, are broken and um, it had a lot of potential. They could have done better with this, but I think it was a rough job to get it out because of the movie. So, um, yeah, I've tried to give it a go, but uh, just, yeah, just the controls, especially, it's just broken. Uh, PS really cheap, uh, about four bucks. Uh, it's just a small compilation of um, arcade games. Um, yeah, Be Bejeweled and uh, what have got? Yeah, Outpost, Texas Holden. Yeah, <coughs> not bad. Some early um, arcade games for the 360. Um, here's another double pack. Got it cheap. Uh, Sega Superstar Tennis and arcade live compilation again. Um, yeah. Tennis one, not a tennis, real tennis, uh, didn't really care for much, and just another compilation. Um, disc, okay, uh, Dragon Age Origins, uh, yeah, I was playing this game for a while, then I just, yeah, didn't get back to it. Um, it's okay, but I just don't like how your character doesn't speak, so it just didn't really hold my interest that much, if, it, if the character's spoke back when he's in a conversation like you do in Mass Effect and all that uh, it would be really good and I'm touch number two um, apparently number two has that ability so yeah I think I might go straight to two uh, Mirror's Edge uh, a lot of people like this game um, what I've heard some people didn't um, yeah it's not, not bad um, yeah, I, I found it a bit tough sometimes trying to pull off some of the running and jumping and, and everything, but um, yeah, I just got it cheap. Dante's Inferno, uh, basically a God of War ripoff, but uh, pretty good. Um, I've never heard of Dante's Inferno, and apparently it's a religious thing with a pro um, I don't know if it's like ancient mythology um, stories some but something along those lines but um yeah not a bad slasher okay brutal legends um yeah not not bad jack black i like him as an actor pretty funny guy and um yeah not a bad open world um game uh got it cheap just um once again might be an echo but yeah gotta get back to it uh, Prey, yeah, finish this game. Not not too bad. Apparently Prey 2 is coming out. I think it's coming out very soon and it's nothing like this first one. So I don't know if it's by the same people. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind this one. Well, you got 2K, 3D Realms. And uh, yeah, so some good um, developers there. So yeah, not a bad one. I tried to... Um, finish up some of the online achievements to multiplayer but unfortunately it's uh, no longer going on I don't think no one plays anymore uh, I got this one cheap um, Star Wars Force Unleashed this is the, uh, the Ultimate Sift Edition it just comes with the bonus DLC stuff of Xbox Live so um, yeah not too bad game 
Uh, Splatterhouse. Uh, I did pre-order this. Um, I had a little go. I couldn't really get past the first stage, and then I loaned it to a mate, and he finished it. And I got it back, and I've just haven't bothered to put it back in. Um, yeah, that's the thing really. Yeah, I guess I've got to get back to it. Um, Internal Sonata, uh, just a RPG. Um, very colourful, cutesy RPG. Um, not not too bad. Uh, it's highly recommended by a lot of um, uh, RPGs on here on YouTube, so that's what I'll give it a go. Uh, Tekken 6. Uh, yeah, Tekken 6. A lot of people didn't like it that much. Um, yeah, because the way the controls are, and you've got this little mini game built into it, like a beat em up, and um, like it, like, because it's a beat em up, but um, yeah, I'm trying to explain it. Yeah, sorry. Um, Fear 2, uh, pretty good game. Uh, I had a good run on it, and then I just got to a point and I uh, think I started playing something else, so uh, I just got to get back to it. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, great sandbox game. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Um, it's okay, but I do find some of the missions a bit hard sometimes. Like, you got to chase people in cars and everything, and sometimes the controls are just really broken and, yeah. So, apparently, hopefully, number five, which is coming out soon, will be, um, well, not coming out soon, but, uh, not, well, I'm not sure when number five's coming out, but, yeah, hopefully they'll fix up a lot of problems in that one, this one, had. and the last one for this update, uh, the update is, um, showing off my collection, sorry, um, Dugan Forever, I've got an unboxing for this game as well, I'll put it in a link below, um, yeah, I just, uh, not a bad game, nothing groundbreaking, but like I said, it is Duke Nukem, so it doesn't take itself seriously. So, yeah, not a bad game. Okay then, guys, um, so that's part two of my Xbox 360 collection. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If there's um, anything you want to know any about these games, just put a comment below. But um, other than that, um, yeah, take care, and I'll see you in another video soon. See ya.